What up, guys? Louis the Bone 32 here. Back at it with another reaction video. My hair's kind of a mess. I'll do that later. But I'm here to react to a video called Man Confronts Cops After They Shoot His Dog. And this one's kind of a crazy one. So, yeah, let's do this. About 15 minutes ago, I got a phone call from Utah Animal Control calling to tell me that an officer had shot and killed my dog. He was inside the backyard in a fenced off area. What was the cause for an officer to shoot and kill my dog? I just arrived at my house. There's Utah Animal Control. And the officer's involved in know. killing my dog. I know now I want to know who shot my dog and what the probable cause was to trespass on private property and kill my animal. Which officer shot my dog, please? He's not here. He left? He's not here. Okay, it's probably a good thing. What was the probable cause to trespass on private property and kill my dog? We were looking for a lost child. And that gives you probable cause to enter a private residence without permission from the owner. Okay, officer, can I get your name Sergeant and Sergeant your police Sears. officer number? Thank you. Sergeant Sear from the Salt Lake City Police Department. And the case number is 99228. Could you say that one more time? 99265. 99, 99, yes. Right. The and your officer? The other, the other case number is related to the missing child. Oh, the missing child, what's that one? 99228. Thank you. So what was the probable cause to kill my dog? Sir, did, probable did cause my... to kill an animal does not exist. Probable, probable cause is something... I'm asking why important. you guys went on my property and why he felt the need to kill my dog. Okay, I can explain the basic circumstances, and that is that he, was, he entered the yard looking for a lost child. Uh, he was threatened by the dog, and he shot the dog. That's as simple as it gets. He was threatened by the dog. So backing up slowly and leaving the residence is not an option. Uh, we're going to give you case number. Do you have any questions besides the ones you're asking? Right yes. Now? Can I have the officer's name and badge number that killed my dog? I don't have his badge number. It's his name, please. Officer Olson. Officer Olson. And is he with the Salt Lake City Police? Yes. Or is he with Unified Police? No, Salt Lake City. Okay. Thank What's you. Your name, sir? My name is Sean Kendall. I am the owner and occupant of this residency. Is that S E A N? Yes, it is. Is it K E N? D A L L. What's your birthday, Sean? Is that relevant to the case? I'm going to be doing a, an amendment to the report. So you have my address and my name. That's yeah. adequate information. Thank you. What, what is your address here? Is it 2465? 2465 South, 1500 East. Do you have a phone number I can put down? I do, but you can contact me through this residency. An officer is more than welcome to stop by. Do you have any phone number we can reach out at all? I do, but I don't feel comfortable giving that at this time. Okay, that's I'll write down the case number uh, on both. Would you want just the one case number? Both would be great because you will be hearing from me and my lawyer. And I understand it wasn't you personally, but you guys killed my dog. I've had this dog for three years. He was my best friend, and he was shot. Because an officer couldn't back the fuck up out of my house. Is that against policy? Is that against training? I don't understand what you're saying. I really do understand. There's a problem with officers killing animals for no reason. You look online, it's everywhere. Did the officer at least have the decency to kill him in the first shot so he didn't suffer? Or do I have multiple gun wounds in what I consider my child? So I get to bury my dog because an officer can back up and close the f***ing gate. Something's got to change. And I know it wasn't you. I'm sorry. I'm pissed. What happened was wrong. Right across the street, that dog has bitten two dogs and almost lunged at a little child. 
but nobody comes to do that and then kill my dog inside my house? Now I gotta bury him, clean the blood, and take care of my dog. Because an officer couldn't back the fuck up! Wow, he's pissed. I didn't have anything to do with this. I know, and I understand that. And, 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 and you have all the right to be living. Uh, this is the least of the case in the world. We are just the mirrors of bad news. And I know. And, 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 and uh, sucks. I don't know. There's there's not words that could express. There, there's not words that I, I wasn't here. So we there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't, I can't say it. I'm the dude who would be great to you. Because it's running rampant. And not just Salt Lake, but everywhere. It's not, what can I do to deep escalate the situation? And, oh, I'm going to shoot this dog in the head. They, okay. Nothing so, well, could have been done. Sorry, going with them. It's probably going to be a little bit hard to well, hear me because I'm on my bed on well, the video. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. really sucks. Like, I, I well, agree with the dude. The guy, officer could have just shut the gate and backed up, you know? He could have backed up, not shut the dog, everyone would have. The dude saw his best friend, yeah, this video wouldn't have existed. But, you know, the officer just decided to pull out his gun and boom, boom, boom. Like, who does that? Like, if I was an officer and I saw one of you guys' dogs, yeah, I would do the same. I wouldn't shoot it, I would just close the gate and back off. Like, I know he probably felt, felt like, offended, but, you know, who shoots the damn thing? Not me. Yeah, he may want to this as well, folks. Someone's here, place your camera by your steps. <laughs> How long is the camera on the porch? No, thank you, officer. This is a good day. I need to go there with the dog. <laughs> I'm now inside my house. I just got done speaking with the officers. And as I walk to my back door, I see my dead dog lying on the ground. This is the gate that the officer most likely walked through. As you can see, there's a significant amount of distance between the gate and my dog. Why didn't the officer just back up and leave? Why did he feel the need to escalate the situation to a point where he had to shoot my dog in the head? Wow, that, yeah, see, there's a good, there's a good amount right there. That really sucks. So, let me just agree with that dude. Yeah, why couldn't the cop back up, you know, shut the gate? But, who shoots the dog in the head? Now the dude has to bury him with blood and shit that 
crazy. And not only is it crazy, it sucks. Because that dog was his best friend, and yeah. It sucks, guys. I do have to agree why I would have backed up, shut the gate. And that gate was, that gate was totally closed off. Like, come on, there's no fence, dogs can get out. It's crazy. I feel bad for that dude. Well, there's no, no, there's nothing much else to say. But, um, oh, I'm tired a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's nothing else here. I'm um, gonna wrap things up. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it, enjoyed it. Press that like button, subscribe, comment. Until then, see you. See you.